So it looks like the next thing that we gotta do is add a step for the bed sky hatch. Someone's having some issues. Fine. <laughs> Put a step stool on the bed? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Welcome back, Sun Chasers. We're back with another video coming at you. We are at the lake today, gorgeous outside. I was filming an Olipop video for our social media. If you guys don't know what Olipop is, I don't know what you're doing with your life, but it's a probiotic soda, but it's healthy for you. So go check out Olipop. I wanna go to the water, so let's go swim. It's not that hot out yet. So we gotta get it a little bit more hot before I, before I take a dive. You know, I wish we had like a place in the bus with just a giant window that I'd be able to sit and watch the view, you know? I feel I, like the I entryway mean, I, with the door is kind of like the big spot with the window. But I don't really want to like sit in the driver's seat though. I'd rather have like... Wait, I have an idea. Oh boy. Back to the workshop. <laughs> Wait, what, what's the idea? What's the idea? I can't tell ya. I meant to fix that mirror before we were driving because I can't even see out of her. Time has an idea. We're gonna go see if we can make this happen. So I have a hammock. You might ask what the big idea is. Quite simple. I'm thinking of plugging it up, plugging it up, <laughs> hanging it up right here. So I can chill, have the view, and then have the best of both worlds, and then move the curtains and be surrounded kind of like a little window box. So um, give me the drill. Maybe I'll do all of the drilling part. I'll mm -hmm. hang it. <laughs> sure. And now a word from our sponsors. So when you guys are out camping or outside and you need portable power fast, well, you're gonna need a portable battery. All Power sent us this S200 portable battery pack for when we need power. And I actually, it comes in handy right now because my phone's about to die. Let's take this bad boy, this power button. Nice and slim, lightweight. We're gonna plug her in. And then I'm able to sit up here and enjoy the sun with power. Or when it's an extra hot day out and you need an extra breeze. Oh, 90%, three and a half hours. This is the All Powers S200. Click the code in the description for 15% off of your order. Go get yourself a portable battery. Took some of the paint off, but we're gonna repaint it anyway, so maybe that'll help us paint it more. It's time to give good old Bessie a good wash. <laughs> Here goes nothing. That absolutely did nothing. I, I gotta get closer. <laughs> So the actual bus itself wasn't too bad, but uh, I got this big boy out because we've been parked under a tree and the birds have just been tearing it up. <laughs> so where are we putting it? I wanna make sure it's not in a spot that when I walk up the stairs, I'm gonna end up clocking my head on it. That would well, it's not hurt. gonna be hanging all the time. No, but the bolt will probably be there. I feel like you want farther out. Let's go like right here. Right there? Right here. Right there. Perfect. X marks the spot. So we got one of the center beams running straight down. That'll hopefully give us a little extra support. Probably wearing glasses for this. I should definitely be wearing glasses. I no. see daylight. <laughs> Turn the camera off. You can't get the thing open. Yes, I can. Minimal hardware required. I don't know if that's a bad thing or if it's gonna hold me. Here we go, boys. All right, so I'm gonna hold this, go up on the roof and put the little nut on there. Hang this thing. There it is. Push it all the way up. <laughs> that makes it really difficult. I can't. <laughs> ah. Alright, that's good enough for now. Give me the hammock. Moment of truth, boys and girls. Hopefully I don't touch the first step or break the window. <laughs> Look at that. The only problem I realized is that if I do shut the window... <laughs> it's like right in your face. It's like right here. Spinny boys. Oh! Where do we store the hammock though when we're driving? What if we like rolled it up and hooked it on the yeah. wall? But like a little hook that the bar... Can I do pull-ups off this? Do it. <laughs> you can just go. <laughs> yeah, watch. right. Watch out, I'm gonna swing. I can swing. <laughs> oh, put your feet down. You come try. This is nice. It's actually really nice. I, I think like it. We gotta find a way to keep these doors open though. I just, ow, <laughs> my shit on the lock. <laughs> oh, oh. Hit the driver's seat. What do you think would happen if someone sat in this while we were driving?
love it. This is a good idea. Very good idea. Backwards. <laughs> no, that's a terrible idea, isn't it? And then I can push myself. <laughs> wow! Wait, you wanna see something funny? <laughs> oh, you suck. <laughs> you suck. All right, well, that's about it. I'm done now. I'm not enjoying my view. That freaking hurt. <laughs> Okay. Now you need like a nice book or something to enjoy the view. A book? No, I want a freaking burger. Nice juicy french fries. I'm only saying that because we watched The Founder last night for the first time. It made me relive my McDonald's childhood. That guy really ran over the freaking Dick Brothers. That wasn't his name, was it? <laughs> his first name was Dick. The guy's name was Dick. It was McDonald's Brothers. There was just two brothers wanting to sell some burgers, man, and Ray Clark. Ray, is that even his name? <laughs> What's his name? Ray Kroc. Came in with the powdered milkshakes. I don't really give a crap. All I know is McDonald's is open and they're calling my name, so get in here. Come on, let's leave. We're going to get a classic. I just want to check the criteria. I'm going to check it right there in the drive thru window. She's going to hand it to me. I'm going to unwrap it in that golden wrapper. There's only two pickles. I'm throwing it right back through the drive thru window. Speaking of food, though, I kind of need coffee. It's loud. It's loud over here. Welcome back, Sun Chasers, with a coffee time with time. You already guessed it. We're at a classic. Good old double D's. <laughs> So we chose today's location because all the spots that we normally go to are always, you know, these niche, small, not franchise coffee shops. They're usually location based to wherever we are at the time. And it's great for if you guys are traveling or in the area, you can try out the ones that we went to. But we wanted to try one that uh, we know everyone's been to. See how it is today. This was my go-to order at Dunkin' Donuts back a while ago. It's a French vanilla iced latte with oat milk. I haven't had it in a while, so I figured if we're gonna do a Dunkin' review, I'm gonna rate my OG drink. Of course, iced, y'all know it. That nostalgic taste, mm. this is a solid. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. We're going high. I mean, Dunkin' Donuts French vanilla iced latte, you, you can't, you can't beat that. We got a sausage, egg, and cheese on a croissant. Pretty classic breakfast sandwich. I prefer the croissant. It's better than a bagel, it has a little bit more flavor to it. Looks a little dry. We got a sausage, egg. Egg's like a perfect nice little round disc, so I'm not <laughs> sure how they do that, but that's literally all that's on here. Do you have to like specially ask for anything else? Like should I have said I think, like I mayo so. or anything? Cause here it goes. To be honest, it's actually not that bad. The sausage has some good flavor to it. Cheese, that was, that was a good bite. I like a good cheesy bite right there. So it's not great, but it's not bad. I think it's pretty base level. I'm gonna give it a it's a six out of 10. Right above that five point, right above the, the center. So it's good. I think it's gonna be pretty reliable. I'll take it. So we did actually end up going to McDonald's. Time wanted to make sure their burgers were still up to standards. Um, but we shot this and apparently the microphone wasn't on. So we have zero audio. We ordered one of the hamburgers. It's a cheeseburger. It's a cheeseburger. Not a hamburger. Because I needed to make sure that there was two pickles, a squirt of ketchup, a squirt of mustard, a little dash of onions, and there it is. Two pickles, they kind of got some holes in it, I don't really know. Look at that patty though, the thing is tiny. It's like a slice it's... of paper. It looked, it, 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 it's not great. It doesn't, it doesn't look. Right, Clark? Good <laughs> doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Clark. Drop a comment down below. Let us know what you thought of this video. Share this video with a friend. Thank you guys for watching this video. We'll see you in the next episode. Go chase some sun.